The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. In Flotsam, he slew Bernard Lerito, but few mourned for the Commandant. Flotsam remained to Marion, while command of the garrison in town went to a Vizima noble, a sworn enemy of Kedwin and an avid angler. To this day, folk gather round bonfires in Lobenden to hear of the Witcher's deeds. The Witcher witnessed a great Kedwini victory in Edirne, at Vergen, Hensel's army crushed Saskia the Dragonslayer's motley force, ending the springtime of races. Soldiers of the Unicorn swarmed over the Pontar Valley. As it had before, powerful Kedwen swallowed Upper Edern whole. Yet subsequent events would render Hensel's triumph short-lived. When King Fultest fell at the hands of an assassin, chaos engulfed his realm. Where others saw spoils, Roach saw his motherland bleeding. Vernon made a difficult choice, surrendering Fultest's daughter to Radovid. The Redanian ruler, trump card in hand, turned Temeria into his protectorate and began restoring peace. The kingdom's inhabitants soon learned why Radovid was called the Stern. A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edirne, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we who had in some way shaped the world's fate finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. <laughs>